A 25-year-old burns 200 to minus 40 tea calories per hour while walking on a treadmill. The caloric intake is 30 tea calories per hour due to drinking a sports drink. What is the net change in calories after walking for two hours? Let's first take a look at this graphically by graphing the rate equations for the number of calories burned as well as the intake of calories. On the left we have the graph of y equals 30 t, which is the rate equation for the rate at which calories are consumed during the two hour walk. Notice I've also stated the area below the curve over the closed interval from zero to two hours. If we focus on the units of the area, notice the units would be calories per hour times hours, which leaves us with calories. This indicates this area represents the calories consumed during the two hour walk. On the right, we have the graph of the rate function y equals 200 minus 40 t, which is the rate at which the calories are burned. Again, I've stated the area below the function over the closed interval from zero to two. And again, focusing on the units of the area, we would have calories per hour times hours again, which gives us calories. The area under the rate function for which the calories are burned gives us the total calories burned over the two hour workout. The net change in calories is equal to the calories in minus the calories out, or the calories consumed minus the calories burned. And we know we can represent these two areas using definite integrals. So we can say the calories in, or the calories consumed during the two hour workout is equal to the definite integral from zero to two of 30 t dt, and the calories out, or the calories consumed over the two hour workout is equal to the definite integral from zero to two of 200 minus 40 t dt. And therefore the net change in calories is equal to the difference of the two definite integrals, which we can write as a single definite integral as the definite integral from zero to two of 30 t minus the quantity 200 minus 40 t dt. Just be careful here, we do need the 200 minus 40 t in parentheses. And now let's go ahead and evaluate this on the next slide. Let's begin by simplifying the integrand function. We have the integral from zero to two of 30 t minus negative 40 t, which simplifies to 30 t plus 40 t or 70 t, and then minus 200. And now we'll determine the antiderivative. The antiderivative of 70 t with respect to t is equal to 70 times t squared divided by two, and then minus the antiderivative of 200 with respect to t is 200 t. Before we determine big F of two minus big F of zero, let's go ahead and simplify this first product. The antiderivative simplifies to 35 t squared minus 200 t. And now we determine big F of two minus big F of zero. Subbing in two for t, we have 35 times the square of two minus 200 times two. And when t is zero, both terms are zero. Simplifying, we have 35 times four minus 400 which equals negative 260. And again, the units here would be calories. So the net change in calories is negative 260 calories, which means during the two hour workout, the 25 year old burns 260 calories. I hope you found this helpful.